Right, every now and again I like to review some of the tools that I buy. I only actually like doing reviews on the equipment I actually use in the workshop. And today I've got this excellent piece of equipment. It's a micro hot air gun and soldering iron workstation. So it comes in this box here. You get the unit and a plug cable, this type of um, plug in the side here. It did have a two pin plug on the end there for the EU market but I've cut that one off and put an ordinary UK plug on it. It comes obviously with the hot air gun, the soldering iron, different nozzles for the hot air gun and a soldering stand with the sponge there. It also comes with um, four screws in which to screw the workstation onto a board or the back of the workshop on the wall. This bar comes off the back here, four screws in there onto the wall and then you can put the workstation on easily or take it off if you need to. So the main control unit has two screw plug sockets on the uh, front face there. The eight pin one is for the hot air gun and the three pin one on the left there is for the soldering iron. Then there's two on off switches. The top one is for the soldering iron and the bottom one is for the hot air gun. You have two red digital displays with um, increase and decrease for each tool and then the set button. And then you have this cutout here on the right hand side for the hot air gun to sit in when it's not in use. It would have been nice if they had one on the left side for the soldering iron but you do have the stand in which to um, lay it in on the bench. And the hot air gun, when you plug it in, there's a groove at the top of the um, plug here. That goes to the top of the socket. So it can only go in one way and then screw the collar up. And then the same with the soldering iron. And they're nice um, chrome finishes on the plugs and sockets. The actual soldering iron appears to be good quality ABS type plastic. And it has a nice uh, rubber handle part here. The tips can obviously be changed. It's this type here. And uh, I presume there must be um, spares for this one on Banggood or whatever. I've tested the um, temperature on the um, display, um, obviously in centigrade. So I switched the soldering iron on and I've got it set at 200 degrees at the moment. I've um, tested it with my soldering iron test tool and I've found that the actual heat at 200 degrees centigrade on the display there, on the tester, is registering at about 220 degrees. And then I set it on 310 degrees there. And on the tester, I'm getting about 355. So it's not dead accurate on the digital display, but at least it's hotter rather than cooler. And then we have the hot air gun, just a standard hot air gun. The nozzles just um, push on the end there, a nice tight fit, and then switch that one on. And then you can just alter your temperature on the display. Plus on the hot air gun you have two different settings. You have the temperature 
and then if you press the set button an F comes up and you can uh, press the increase or decrease to do the different speeds so you've got 1 to 10 So when you turn it off it retains the setting so when you turn it back on again it will come on exactly how you set it. And that also applies to the soldering iron as well, it will retain the setting and come on with that last setting until you alter it again. And another nice feature I found about the unit, um, it didn't come with any instructions, I've only just found this out. If you actually turn it on with the um, hot air gun on the unit, it won't actually work until you take it off the unit. And then if you replace it in the unit, it'll automatically turn off. like that. So you don't have to keep reaching for the on off switch when you're actually using the hot air gun. But it leaves this display up here so you know that it's still on. So you can actually switch that off with the switch on the side. So you can see there that I've got it set at 140. As soon as I put it back into the unit, that'll go down to the lowest temperature, which is 100 and then turn off. So it's a good safety feature as well. So I think the SMD rework station is an excellent piece of kit, um, especially if you don't want to fork out a lot of money on a large rework station. It's very low cost, I think it works out about £30 at the moment. Um, have a look on the Banggood site, I'll put the uh, link below. And um, like I say, it's a tool that I've actually bought to use in my workshop and I shall put it on the back of my bench then I'll have it ready for use whenever I need it.